What's going on everybody? Geek back with a quick short hopefully video on video troubleshooting to get some issues addressed with stuttering, screen tearing, or trying to get better performance out of your game when playing Outriders. So I'm sure some of you know that Outriders out now. It came out launched officially April 1st. It is a fantastic game and is trending the number one game on Steam. However, even though they had it out for a month as a demo, which was an amazing move by them, and the game, as I consider it, is a 99.9% .9 finished game. It's fantastic. I recommend it. I highly do recommend it. It's one of the first games uh, that has come out as a finished product, that is actually a finished product in my book. It's not without its troubles, though. It's got a one or two hiccups along the way, um, specifically on PC. Currently, one of the bigger trending ones is there's two of them. There's stuttering and then an out-of-memory issue. So if you're dealing with an out-of-memory pop-up that causes the game to crash, this is an issue between uh, NVIDIA drivers or the GPU drivers, the, the graphics cards, and Outriders. Outriders and, GP and NVIDIA, I do know, are looking to correct this. I don't know if it's going to be an NVIDIA driver update or if Outriders is going to make a correction on how they leverage that driver. That has yet to be seen. However, what this video is going to talk about is how to set your video settings if you have an older graphics card like a 1080 or a 1660 or even a 20 series and if you're lucky enough to have a 3000 series there are still some issues along the way and we're going to talk about how to go into the video settings what to set how to make sure that you're getting the most out of the game so to do that from either the lobby screen or while you're in the game you can hit um hit escape to bring up the options menu go to options we're going to go into options the first one we've got two two different display settings right the first one we're going to go to is display let's talk about windowed mode real quick so we have full screen borderless and window okay if you have an older card they are recommending and i would recommend windowed mode okay this is going to give you the game in a box on your monitor it might not be the full screen your full monitor Many times it is, if you're a 1080p. Uh, if you're on a 1440, it, I don't think it does. And when I put it in window mode on mine, it brought it down a little bit and gave me a popped out box. That's okay. Um, but this contains the game into the thing, helps with the renderingization, um, and, and allows you a little bit more resources to be conserved of your graphics cards to be put elsewhere. Um, I play with full screen. I want it to full screen. I have a newer card, so it doesn't have any issues. I haven't had any issues with this one. Borderless. Do not use borderless, okay? If you're on a single monitor, maybe. But borderless, just, it, it actually, it doesn't do anything for performance. It actually hits the performance. As far as many games I've ever played in the last five years, I've never had one that's recommended borderless. So why they put it in here, I have no idea. It just shouldn't be even be an option. Just, just, just saying, Okay. Uh, I, I think it's if you want to span multiple monitors, you have a bunch of GPUs, SLI, whatever, which isn't really a thing anymore, because you can see when you go to it, your monitors are no longer selection resolution. It's just, yeah, don't don't mess with it. Uh, it, it for, for performance, it's just, in my opinion, not a good thing. Then your resolution, make sure, like if you're playing on a 1440 monitor, make sure that the resolution that's set in the game matches the monitor, okay? Um, uh, if you're on a 1080p monitor, make sure that that matches. Uh, don't try to play at 1440 on a 1080p. Shouldn't be poss possible, but just um, make sure that you're aware of that one. It should be auto-detected. Um, NVIDIA DLSS is off by default. Um, I wouldn't recommend turning it on. If you turn it on thinking you're going to be cool, and you know, it's a really cool product. I've had it on. If I'm streaming, I turn it off because I game and stream from the same system. However, if I'm um, just playing, I might turn it on. At this point, I've just left it, decided to leave it off. Um, it puts a little bit more of a performance hit. It's trying to do machine learning and all that stuff, and you're using your GPU to do that. So in the back end while you're playing and trying to do all this other stuff, yeah, not such a great experience. Um, next is VSync. Many monitors have it. People think, oh, I've got it. I need to turn it on. Again, it's a resource thing. It helps with refresh rates. Not enough for what we're doing. We're not in a competitive games where we're really trying to do esports or anything like that. There's no PvP in this game. Not worth having it on. Um, it is off by default. Leave it off. The next one is... Enable FPS. This is one that we recommend. Um, I could play with it off. I had it off uh, and I switched recently as uh, about two o'clock this morning. Uh, I turned it on based on some troubleshooting. What I found is I have uh, right here, what you can't see it to my left, is a 60 hertz monitor I dug out of the closet and I tested on it. And this is a 144 hertz gaming monitor from Asus ROG. Okay. What you want to do is understand what your FPS or your frequency of your monitor is. And you can do that. 
If you go to your desktop, if you're on Windows and you right click and you go to display settings, uh, and then you come down here and you go to advanced settings, you can see, we, nope, uh, wrong one. Advanced display settings. You can see what the Hertz is on your monitor. So this one that I've hooked up is a Dell on the left. You can see it's a 60 Hertz. However, if you look at this one here, which is my gaming monitor, and I come down, you can see that, wait, is that the right monitor? Hold on, I gotta get the right monitor. I played, I have too many monitors I've hooked up to the system right now uh, for testing. Uh, back, where is it? There it is. You can see it's a 144 hertz monitor, right? So inside the game, what you wanna do is turn on the FPS limit. Remember, old generation uh, Xbox and PlayStation 4 were usually 30 to 60 frames. On the, the, the new gen one, 60 to 120. The PC, okay, the general rule is the frames is to match it to the hertz. So I have 144 hertz um, monitor. I'm gonna go for 144. I could play a little higher if I want to. Um, if your monitor is a 60 hertz monitor, maybe set it down to 60 and then slowly start working to scale up. Um, a sweet spot that a lot of people were talking about is 120. That might work well. But start with 60 if you're still having screen tearing and everything. You can slowly start bumping up 5, 10 frames at a time just to get to know what your monitor and try to tune it. This is, this is part of the gaming tuning process. Fortunately, you shouldn't have to do this, but... Since we can't get new GPUs, and this is a next generation game, yes, it's built on Unreal and all that, it's a little bit older engine. Um, we're trying to do different things with it. So play with these numbers. Also, also turn off motion blur. Uh, the game developers put it in by the community's request. Please go in and turn it off. It's on by default, turn it off. Um, uh, it it doesn't make that huge of an experience. I mean, it's cool, but it graphically was causing some issues and has a performance hit. So. Go ahead and turn those off. Now, once you've made these changes, you do need to save it. And every time you make a change, it asks you before you can change screens. What I want to do is go to display. Um, and I didn't make any changes here. So I'm going to go to display advanced. This is where we're going to talk about. You'll see here, even though I'm running a 3090 FE card, you, I have, and I had ultra turned on. There's two that I turned down because they're just not that important to me. Shadow quality and anti-lacing, okay? All shadows do is how much depth. Are they trying to give me a 3D kind of a vibe to to, to different effects and everything like that um, for the shadowing by using those? I turn that down to a medium, okay? Some turning it down, one of my friends on a low, might, on a 1660 GPU card, might turn that down to a low. Anti-lacing, they do the same thing. There's no low for anti-lacing. It's either off, medium, high, or ultra. I would recommend medium. Uh, this is just smoothing out objects, making them a little bit more polished, refined. Again, the higher it is, the more refinement it is, the more realism they're trying to give to it. You can turn that off. Uh, other things that you can mess with is your view distance. Um, it's Again, your, your more focus as a player here up close, medium kind of distance from you on the screen. Um, how far is that tower off in the distance in the, in the, in the, in the, in the you know, background? Do you need the detail on it? You can turn this down. Um, to maybe high or medium, just play with it. Like my friends that are playing on 1660s, I think they're a mix of medium and low on all their settings to get the best out of it. Same with the foliage, you can turn that down. How much detail do you want in there? Is there a ladybug crawling on the leaf or something like that? Or the shadowing mixed in with it or the lighting, whatever. How many, the density of the, you know, all that good stuff. Is it motion blurring in the wind and all that stuff? So play with those settings, but I definitely recommend turning down shadow quality, uh, anti-lacing, and going from there. There was talks on the forums of turning off Ansel. That's not something that's really easily done in the newer generation uh, NVIDIA displays anymore. Uh, the best that you can hope for is there's a third-party program that I'm not gonna walk you through on how to use it. A lot of people use it for using their own custom shaders and stuff, but um, if you come across that, which is gonna be listed in the forum discussion that I have in the link below, um, I really wouldn't mess with it. It's not something that your average person is going to know how to do. Um, one of the other things they do recommend, I do not run with the GeForce experience now. I just run drivers on my system and then I make sure that I go and update everything. What you can do and they recommend is going in and disabling or uh, going into the task manager and finding the GeForce now and in tasking it um, to turn that off because it does put a load on your system. Um, it's, a fan, it's a good tool. 
and lets you do things like shadow play and everything else, but it gives overlays and some other stuff that may or may not be a performance hit to the game. Uh, since I don't have it installed on the system, I can't really show you how to disable it, but if you Google um, how to disable uh, um, NVIDIA Experience Now, the, there's plenty of videos out there on how to do so. Um, trying to keep this shorter, this real quick is where we're at. If you have any questions, again, please hit me up in the comments below. Uh, what, uh, let's just get a list of what issues you guys are having. Maybe we can get these all shipped over to, um, to, to the Outriders crew as well as to NVIDIA. Maybe get something out there, make sure that we have it rolling. These guys have been fantastically transparent with the community and getting things fixed quickly and efficiently uh, and giving us just an amazing game. Again, I highly recommend going out and playing Outriders. Um, again, hit me up on the, my Discord down below, or you can even find me on Twitter. Everything's GMD Geek. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Helps me out. Uh, if you want more content like this, please let me know. I'm just trying to help people get in and enjoy the game and have some fun. I'll do a separate video on what I found for my custom settings for streaming and gaming from the same system um, in a separate video. Until then, hopefully you guys have fun. Stay safe. See you guys in-game. Treat each other well. And until then, game on.